All right, so this knife here is the is a Dan Tope Huntress. This is a sheath that I made for it, so it doesn't come with one. You'd have to buy one. So this is basically a take on uh, the old Buffalo Skinner style knife. And this one is made out of CPM 3V. And it's quite thick. I think it's about, oh, what is it, two... Hundred thou. I'm gonna put it on the caliper here. Oh fuck! Yeah, she's two twenty. So it's pretty thick. Handle scales are like a black and red carbon fiber with a red liner and then a black liner and then flared tubes. It's an extremely comfortable knife, big handle, and beefy. Like it's a stout knife, really well done. Excellent grind lines on it. Everything is really precise. Little little details, you know, that I I notice, like just knocking off the the rough edges on here. I mean, little things like that. You might not uh, get that in other knives, and of course, you know if you're choking up on something, you're gonna you're gonna feel that. <clears throat> Just a it's a tank of a knife. Oh, there goes my light. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's a it's a beauty knife. Um, it's one I had custom made, so it's not one you can you know just go buy off a store shelf but it's definitely definitely one of my favorite knives anyways and it's about a i think about a five inch blade on it it's um fairly heavy i mean compared to some of the other knives some nice little details and stuff it's still got like kind of the, the mill scale finish on it you know little touches like that you don't see on a production knife. I also have a, a camp knife that was made at the same time that I will do another review on here in the coming days. And it's the matching pair to this, this one here. So yeah, I'll have to take a look, see if I grab something else that's uh, similar in size. I can actually show you this compared to my Minuteman and you can see it's a little bit smaller than that so yeah looking at the blade length there it's about five inches and it's definitely a lot heavier than the Minuteman it's actually <clears throat> probably a lot heavier than pretty much any of my other knives that are similar in size one of these days I'll have to actually get a scale and throw these knives on and just see what they weigh but i mean it's perfectly balanced there's you know, no issues that's not quite at that first finger a little bit maybe behind i don't want to drop it here but right yeah, that's right at the first finger i move back a little bit it'll want to swing on me but Definitely one of the prettier knives that I've got in my collection for for sure. Well, that was just a sort of what was I gonna show you on here? Oh yeah, flared tubes. So show you the sheath I made <clears throat> I'm no expert sheath maker so but I think it looks pretty good oh deer head emblem 
on some tooling marks I tried. I haven't done that before, so first time. And then I wet formed it so that everything fits in there nice. And dyed it. Starting to get a little better with my sheath making anyways. It actually carries really nicely. Everything's all saddle stitched. I punched the holes beforehand. I gotta make a sheath for my other one now. Right. Well, hope you liked the video and thanks for watching. And look forward to reading your comments in the comment section.